So I just went to the grocery store, and why do I need a receipt this long? For two items. And that's not even including the receipts. The receipts, I guess, that they gave me. They're really more slips. Uh, all these right here included. Three, uh, th you know, three more sheets of paper. Um, which are all coupons I'm not going to even use. I mean, I would say that maybe they print out um, these coupons based on what you purchase, but I don't think the fact that I purchased junk food is going to make them print out something for um, Head and Shoulders. No, what is this? Oh no. Um, hair care products. And I got something else for um, pull ups. And that was, what's the third one for? Um, Okay, that's kind of for, that's kind of long, you know, uh, Sara Lee cupcakes or whatever, you know, pastries. I guess it's kind of similar, but still, why do I need, why do I need that long receipt, which is literally like about a foot long, why do I need that long receipt for two items? I mean, I've seen other places that don't print out receipts that long, it's just a waste of paper. And you might be thinking, that's something small to get irritated over, but you also have to keep into consideration that they probably print out exceedingly long receipts like a billion times a day, which means they bur but they murder, that they murder like 50 million trees a year, extra doing, it's just all the excess waste. I don't know, it's just, it's, it's just a waste thing to me. It's just like, um, you know, uh, a lot of food warehouses, they'll throw out a bunch of excess food, it's, um, bad or damaged. I mean, just tons of stuff to just, I guess it's just waste in general. Just, uh, I don't know, waste, I guess irritates me. Speaking of waste, I saw, um, I don't even watch the show. I don't, I don't watch TV, but I saw, um, I've been hearing people talk about this episode of Kitchen Nightmares, which I've never even heard of until the other day. And I heard, you know, I heard about this episode that was just a complete, like, just this owner of this restaurant was just completely unbearable and you know to the point where uh, you know nobody liked her um you know they they went through employees like crazy uh, gordon ramsay is that his name i can't remember. i remember his last name is ramsay um sorry i'm not really up with cooking or up with cooking shows or chefs or anything or anything of that nature yeah but he went on there and it was like um uh just like the first restaurant that he ever had to walk away from uh, you know, not being able to give tips to and help them with their management and help them run their store better. The show's apparently filmed back in December. I found that out, I found that out online, and um, apparently after the episode aired, the um, their Facebook page called like a, a hellstorm of just controversy. You know, they were they were cussing out people and left and right and all stuff like that. And then of course the next day they claimed, oh well, it uh, sorry we got hacked. Yeah, uh-huh. This lady is a typical person who claims to be a Christian, yet just spreads hate wherever she goes. To me, they were basically like the Westboro Baptist Church and a restaurant. <laughs> That's, I, I mean, they didn't have the God Hates Facts sign, but they may as well have. Anyway, just figured I'd make a video since I haven't made one in a while. If you like this video, favorite, share, like, subscribe, and I'm gonna try not to get into a wreck here. Yeah, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.